Hello everybody, Mayo Doctor here, and we are probably gonna end up finishing this game here in this part. And as stupid to me, I really should've gone and checked my inventory first. Or at least gone through the level first, but you know what, I just really want to beat this game. So, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Oh, are these enemies invincible? Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'll just go through brute for- Oh, I get it. These enemies have multiple hits. So I just have to keep dropping bombs on them and they'll eventually go down. Okay. I get it. I get it! Yay! Do this. Bomb, 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 bomb. There too. Come on, come on. There you go. Good bomb. And you gotta- You- Whoa! How am I supposed to drop a bomb on that? Oh, I get it. Those panels stop from going anywhere. So if I drop a bomb like that... Okay, I see it. Well, I'm gonna have to go around the long way again, but I think I got it. Nice having a maxed out flight gauge. I can actually kind of fly, sort of. Uh, yes, I saw that destructible floor panel. I'm gonna check this way first. Because this way feels more like the dead end to me. Hmm. I have no clue what these things are. None. Yeah, somehow I had a feeling you weren't gonna let me go in there. Let's go down. This is probably just a way back to where I came from, right? Yeah, that's what it seems like. go. And down we go. There we go. All bombed. The completionist side of me can rest easy, knowing that I blew up every last block. Oh, there's a platform there! I was wondering what was going to say, what is this? Oh no! Are you an enemy? No, you're a bomb. You are very much a bomb. Well, when in doubt, blow it up. I love this triple bomb so much. Even if it did cause me a bit of headache back in the last part. I kind of wonder if the large bomb would have a better effect. No, you're not the large. What are you again? Oh, right, you're the item radar. And you're the giant bomb. I couldn't really remember what items I had equipped. The item radar means there is something here. Well, if it... I think I have to continue it out, right? Okay, yeah, it's, it's getting something. Because I think it actually would give you a single positive, then it would go to dunk. It, it, it's been about a week since I recorded the last part. Uh, uh, I liked spread out my recording sessions a bit, so I actually have time to read comments if anybody wants to leave them. Hey, hey you're not being very smart here. No, no, Doc, no. Oh, boy. I get the idea, and I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it at all. But I get it. You want me to go all the way back? No, game, when I said all the way back, it didn't have to take it quite that literally. Or, okay, no, it's not actually all the way back. I thought for a second they were taking me back to the very beginning of the stage. Unless they actually are taking me back to the beginning of the stage. They are! Oh boy. to throw in padding in for your final level. Yes, I know this probably isn't actually the final level, but it, it's close, so... Eh. It's got a final level vibe to it, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but... 
I know what I mean. It's not the perfect description, but it's something. I'm just glad attacks are still only doing a single hit of damage. If they tried to pull that submarine thing where they did like five or ten hits each, that uh, that could be a disaster. Let's go. Come on, Tails. You got it in you. I believe in you, even if only a little bit. Okay. I got it. I got it. It's a Chaos Emerald. And that should push me up to 99, right? Yep. I'm at maximum health. Because for some reason all these old school Sonic games had no clue how many emeralds to give Sonic. I mean, the console games have pretty much agreed at this point that it should be 7, but the handhelds had no clue. Although actually, even even the consoles weren't really sure, because Sonic 3 tried to give them 8. What happened to this mysterious 8th emerald? No clue. Uh, I have no idea. Is this area I was just in? I, I think so. Hold on a sec. Item radar. Up, oh, yep, okay, it's a dud. This area should still be positive. Okay. Nope, nope, I didn't want to go up the. Uh, whatever. Down we go. Now that looks like the kind of breakable tile we saw before. It's not exactly it, but it looks similar. It's still breakable, at least. Now there's the breakable tiles I've learned to hate so much. <laughs> oh boy. Tails, aren't you glad you can fly? I mean, it sure would be awful if they tried to take that away at some point. Uh, I, I have a very bad feeling they're gonna try pulling that stunt. It just, it, it seems like the kind of thing this game would do. This, get you used to an ability, then suddenly take it away for the final stretch. So, some games just really like doing that. It's kind of like their own version of power loss, and I think I need the remote control here. So I'm gonna fly back down, two places I can stand, and... You. Go, my stuff! It's go! No, no, no. That is the opposite of going! Well, I guess it is technically going, but it's going a different way! Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay, jumping like this is slowly making progress, but I have to do it at a certain speed. If I go too fast, I get stuck on the ceiling, and if I go too slow, well, it's pretty obvious what happens if I go too slow. Oh, nope, I have to go here too. You have to jump, but you have to do it at a particular speed. Oh boy, what is that? Oh boy. I'm off screening this part. I'll be RB when I get through this madhouse. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I'm on the other side of the electric fence. And that did it, okay. So that is what you were supposed to do. You're just supposed to fight the conveyor belt. Which, I mean, thankfully you are completely capable of doing, but you are a new enemy. Well, time for bombs. Who's a... Uh... This uh, bird-like enemy suck a lot of hits before, but wow, you might be taking the cake. Uh, are, are you invincible by any chance? Maybe you have to be attacked in the head? Or how about that large bomb? Because you don't move. Okay, if a large bomb can't kill you, you're invincible. Aside from that one item, what even is the use of the large bomb? Seems like I haven't really used it all that much. Oh, oh, item! The probably just off that electric field, yep. I'm gonna see what's over here. This seems like backtracking a bit. But maybe not. Well, I'm glad I decided to go this way first. Let's bomb it!
Well, I'm glad the bomb sound effects are so reliable. Now, you can bomb. It just takes like three attempts. I can only imagine how long this would take with a regular bomb. The, anyone that actually tried that, you have my sympathies. Nope, you're going. Right down. There you go. There you go. Bombs away. You're beautiful. And you're still invincible. Down you go. Good job, Tails. You found your whatever it is you're looking for. Go! Boom! Now that one only took two hits. Though maybe more of the explosions hit it. The triple bomb is hard to know. Okay, go ahead and fire already. What? Hmm. Okay, well, got it that time. I guess. Nope, I see you. I don't trust you. I don't get this. Is it the screen playing tricks on me? Is that it? Maybe the ones here on the side are just invincible. Which I'd really hate, but... I mean, what are you supposed to do about that, really? Well, that one's gone, at least. Maybe I can attack you from up here. But maybe if I jump up here, I can... Nope. Okay, you're invincible. Nothing I can do about it. Let's go! Wait a minute, I didn't check the... Ah, oh, darn it. Ah. Hold on, is this the end of the level, or...? Well, it's practically the end of the level, there's a boss. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do this boss thing, and then I'm gonna come back. I'll just cut to when I find it, when I'm going back for it. Just to check. Wait a minute, was that... I have no clue to make that, because it actually goes out longer than usual. Hmm. Well, the only items you really need to get through here were the remote bomb... Or, not the remote bomb, but the, the remote the device. The, the thing that looks like a little bird. The wiki says it's a fox, which I don't see for a second, but... I don't know, if you believe the wiki, it's a fox. But I think the wiki people need to get their eyes checked, but... Mm. Does this look like a fox to you? No? Good, you're sane! Um, maybe it is just 8-bit graphics, but... I don't know, something's just wrong about that. Oh boy. That has to be bombed. Maybe I can fly around this way? Come on, let's see if this works. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. There's a rock up there and you have to push it on him. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I probably have to go in from the other side, don't I? Is there another thing on this side that I can blow up? I think so. I didn't get a very good look, but... No, it's reinforced. There's definitely something there, but I can't do anything to it. Hmm. Which means you definitely are supposed to go in here. Come on. Go. Go. I don't get it. Where are you supposed to go? There's not exactly a lot of places for you to run around in. Just this little, fairly small hallway. This is probably the most open part of it, but even this doesn't have a whole... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it! Oh, that's how you do it. He's flashing, but I think that might just be a texture glitch between the rock and the sprite there. <laughs> yes, the sprite. I wanted to call it a model there for a second, but no, that's definitely not a model. 
Can I go now? What the? Oh, it wants to become a submarine again. Well, okay, I guess I have another level I have to do. No, it just lets me go back to, like, Rocky or... Wait, what's it doing? What the? Um... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I, uh... I got back here to the secondary. I didn't need a save state, don't worry. It's just... Regular gameplay will let you come here. The level doesn't show up on the map for some reason, but you can still select it just like any other level. You can still play through it. I haven't come into any problems. So, I wanted to confirm that much with you at least, but I still haven't found any items, which I will admit is strange. I will, uh... I will get back to you as soon as I find something. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I found something! I found something by complete accident! Ha! Take that. There's a teleport device. Okay. Okay, so that was everything I needed in this level. So, I guess I'll meet y'all again at the end of the stage. Oh, um, uh, this guy's back. Be wary of that if you ever have to come back into this stage again. You'll, uh, you'll have to fight him again. Okay, so I found out that apparently the rocket booster is actually really good for this. So I'm going to use the rocket booster here. Also, the proton device is also actually supposed to be actually kind of good here. So what you can do is you can actually go up here to Battle Fortress. I don't know why I couldn't come here before, but I can now, so, eh, whatever. I am... Am I flying? What? Okay, I can't use extra armor. They must have thought of that. I wonder if the Vulcan Cannon still works okay. Well, I can't really check that, can I? I'm too busy shooting things! With my proton device, because you know, it's actually useful! Who knew? I sure didn't. Um. Oh, right, it's in the background. <laughs> That's silly me. I thought we was getting some, uh. That old flying battery syndrome. Where the level would just start scrolling around. If you get wet fast enough, and it would just break on you. I mean, like, I think you already had to be hypersonic by that point. Which I didn't even get in that playthrough. I don't even think I got supersonic in that playthrough. I, mean, I sure tried, but. It just wasn't gonna happen. Okay, so I actually have proper control this time. Does that mean I can go back and use extra armor again? Nope! Still locked out of that. Hmm. I guess extra armor was a waste of space on that. I could have a... I don't know, Spark probably wouldn't have worked either, because this, is, this isn't underwater. But maybe Vulcan Gun, then? Well, nope, okay. Aw, oh, come on, I even stopped for you to fire off your bullet. Ah. Oh, that turret's empty. Okay, fire. There you go. Ah! Fire. I know you want to. Okay, go ahead. I've got my invincibility frames from it at least. Oh, nope, you're not. You're, you're low. Are you? Wow, this is ridiculous. The thrust part is like, there's nothing you can do. There's everything so slow, you don't have any reaction time. Yeah, this is totally fair game. I'll meet you when I'm back around where I was before. Yay. Oh, wow, I just learned a dirty little trick this level. Anti-air missile is amazing here. I, mean, I guess it makes sense, really, but you can just fire these at an angle and boom. This level gets significantly easier. Okay, so that's the secret to this level. You have to just fire the anti-air missiles at an angle to get at those turrets and you're good. So, 
There's the secret to getting through here. I'll uh, meet y'all at the top unless something happens midway through that actually changes the level design, but uh, I kind of doubt it. So, uh, okay, meet y'all at the top. Hopefully I don't keep taking uh, pot shots like that. Wait, did the level design change on me? I'm at the end. I didn't think it was ever going to end. But I made it. Yay. Yes. Wow, this place looks different. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to find anything on this place, so, uh... I'm pretty much going in blind again, like, I, to be honest, I do 90% of the time anyway, but... I don't know, I decided to try to look up some hints on at least what kind of items I should go in with, because I didn't want to go through this level again, but... No, that's not an option. Also, I only have, uh, 40 hit... Rings, which I was gonna say 40 hit points, but no, those terms are not interchangeable in this game. No! Okay, I can jump across this way. Uh oh. I remember learning this back from the forest level when I'm using this Tails is Invincible. I got the wrench! I can't remember how many items left I need, but it's gotta be a low number at this point. I know I've got all the cast emeralds. There's no more items here. Maybe if I had the remote bomb I could attack the enemy, but I still wouldn't be able to fit in there, so whatever. This level seems, aside from the aesthetic difference, it looks like it plays the same as the last one did. The ac last actual level, that is, not the submarine nightmare. It didn't end! Uh, I cut out most of it so you didn't have to deal with it, but... I swear that stage just didn't end! That is so weird, right there. I don't know what that thing is, but... Whatever, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh boy, how am I gonna handle you? Oh, got it. One of the shockwaves hit it. Good luck getting that with a normal bomb. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you other than that. G good luck. I'm sure it can be done, but... Oh boy, I don't want to be the one to do it. Okay. So I'm up to another one of these things. Let's see how far I can get through with this. Another one of these? What is that doodad? I mean, it has collision. So it makes me think it's more than just aesthetic, but... Huh. Uh, okay, that enemy looks like it's stuck in the invincibility phase, so... I'm going to send you over there. Okay, nothing. What if I send you down here? Hmm... I think this is the same sky as, uh, Sunset Park. I'm not certain, but I feel like it is. Okay, so this is the way I was actually supposed to go, because there's going to be an electric fence up there. Good to know my wandering has, yet again, led me to the right direction. I'm getting very lucky with that in this part. Most time. Not every time. Okay, Tails. There you go. Let's go do it. I'm ready to end this game already gone on for five parts. It just keeps going. And going. And going. Th this is a Game Gear game, right? Like, 8-bit generation? <laughs> Ow! Those things detonate. I guess I already knew that, but I didn't think it would detonate there. I figured it would go over the edge or something. You just die. There you go. Oh, don't worry, it's a robot, so it's okay to say they can die. ESRV is so sloppy sometimes. It's whatever. This looks like a battle arena to me. Okay, now it really looks like a battle arena. Nothing here, that pretty much confirms it for me. I have 20 rings. I'm not feeling very confident about this. Okay, that explosion hit you. I don't care what you say, game. That landed. Oh, 
whatever. It's, it'll be faster just to do it myself. No! So why is the game being weird with this? It's sometimes it allows it me to throw it like this, and sometimes it doesn't. down. Come on. Okay, that landed. That was a perfect hit. Okay, right down the middle. That one too! Maybe not quite as clean, but it's still pretty clean. And it's not exactly easy to land these in there while I'm moving on a conveyor belt, so sorry. If it's not a perfect aim. Screw it, not worth it. Can at least take you out, I think. Probably. You know what? Forget it. You're all invincible. Nothing I do is gonna hurt you, so why even try? I'm going for an alternate method. Sending the the not prowler fox thing into this. It's a long tunnel. Oh, hmm. Oh, boy. Okay, well, there's my path. Okay, I got this. I can run to the left. Even I'm capable of that much. Although, with my HP dwindling, I am getting less and less confident about what is obviously meant to be a boss coming up. And there's no items here. That pretty much confirms it for me. I wonder what the wrench even is. I think it's something that's supposed to repair some machine. Repair some machine. Oh. Oh boy. That took way too long to click with me. Wow. I may have to go back and equip it. Those purple things that I couldn't figure out what they are, that's probably what the wrench is for. Ah. If that's true, then... Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Yeah, there's nowhere I can go, so I, I have to go back and try re-equipping stuff, so... BRB again. At least it gives me a chance to restock on my rings! So, that's good, I guess. Well, uh, you're trapped. You, you can't go back any further than this. It's, it's about, I'm gonna say, one quarter of the way down the uh, first segment. So, uh, yeah, you don't have a choice. You have to go back and get it out of here from the password select. That's, uh, that's fun. Well, thankfully, I already dug up a password, so I will show you what it is, and I will let you pray down or whatever, and I'll show you my new loadout, including the wrench, when I get there. So I will see you all in a second. Okay, this is the password right here you need in order to get back to exactly where I was. Since I have actually shown up the password screen, it works like this. You go around to individual squares, and you switch it out from searching 80... I think it's F... I think you have all these, yeah, it's F and then 0 through 9. That was an A. And, uh, you hit the A button to go in this direction where you're going backwards, and the B button to go forwards. And that's how it works. Then you hit the start button to confirm your password. And apparently, I messed something up in here, so this actually is not the password. Hold on. Oh, it's this. Hold on. This is an A. 51A6. This is the password. There we go. That's my bad. <laughs> okay. So, you will have to go in and change your equipment whenever you put in one of these passwords. It'll just auto equip you with the regular bomb again. So, now we're gonna equip the wrench. Because, you know, we got that for. What else do we want? Hmm. Hmm. 
not now. Hmm. Ooh, yellow milk. Well, I don't know. It's, it's nice just having everything in here, so... Since I have everything, I don't need the item radar anymore either, so really I have two open slots. Oh wait, no I don't. I don't... Remote robot, right. And you know what? Remote bomb. It's been a while since I've used you, but you could come in handy. Let's do it. I think I'm good. Exit. Battle Fortress, let's go! I got my full 99 and I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, I, I really wish I had picked up on that context earlier. That was a, that, that was kind of dumb of me. Not kind of, it was very dumb. I should have picked up on that way sooner. Just keep going and nope, nothing bad at. Nope, not you, I'm not dealing with you. Now, remote bomb. This should make things significantly easier. Oh, forget it. They're invincible no matter what you do. The remote bomb doesn't help at all. Which is a shame, really, but what are, you, what are you supposed to do about it, really? Oh, there's one of those machines I can test out right there. That actually worked that time. Maybe it's when they're not ducking. That seems like it'd be nice and possible to time. Oh boy. I already see the problems coming. Yep, those are the machines you're supposed to repair alright. Hmm. I see, there's two different settings. Well, I'm gonna use that setting. Oh, this is the conveyor belt, I think. Hold on, if I switch it back to what it was... That makes it... Yeah, it makes it this way, okay. Well, it seems to be impossible to backtrack this level anyway. Oh, those guys only have a single hit point. It's only a matter of them ducking. The more you know. Ducking makes him invincible. I gotcha. Oh, I'm back here again. Hmm. What can I do with that? Well, the obvious answer is to go right. Let's see if it'll let my. It will, but it puts me back here again. Okay, back to where I was, and wow, the remote bomb is a lot better than I thought it would be. It is... It is really good, actually. But these guys only really have one hit, you just have to learn how to time it. Which is very difficult, admittedly, because they only stay up for like, four or five frames. Out of, I don't know, 90? But... It's a... It's a tiny window, but... It can be done! You just have to sit here and keep bombing them until something happens. Oh yeah, don't throw on the conveyor belt while it's going the opposite direction. That, that too. There we go. That time I got it. Now this is where I was. Yeah. Okay, now how am I going to deal with this? I didn't actually look around a whole lot for puzzle solving. Things. Um... Right, I need this. I have to go through this puzzle again because I didn't actually solve it. So sorry, I was actually slightly deceptive. Well, you actually, I did have to go through this, though. By slightly deceptive, I mean I actually forgot I had to do it again, but whatever. I'm just gonna make y'all sit through it twice! boo hoo ha boo Okay. Anyway. With this, climb the staircase. I haven't really gotten a whole lot of chances to use the wrench yet. It's basically all it's done so far is change the direction of the conveyor belt, which honestly I can't really see helping me, but I don't know, maybe something will come up. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, 
Nope, not you. Not dealing with you. I can't break the mirror. What's even the point of this conveyor belt? There's gotta be something you can do up here, right? Otherwise, why have it here? But not only am I fighting against the direction of the conveyor belt, which seems to be impossible now that I have the wrench, but... There's some... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a mi... Am I seriously being... I'm being stupid again, aren't I? Yep, I am. Okay. Well, there's one mystery solved. Okay. Well, there it is. You just keep walking against the direction of the conveyor belt. So, uh, yeah, good luck sinking that. But, I guess it can be done. Up, up, go, go! Oh, Cripple Bomb, I love you so. It is a beautiful thing, really. It is a truly beautiful thing. But this level really is starting to feel like it's dragging, so, uh... Can, uh, end soon. Please. This is the first time I've ever actually, like, properly just wanted a level to end. It, it just won't. It keeps going. And no matter what I do, it just won't stop. And I almost never ask for levels to end, but this one, it's just... And the worst part, too, is that it's all the backtracking. You can't get out. I'm sure this is a job for the wrench. But I don't see anything to repair. And I can't repair what isn't here. Uh-oh. Is this where I think it is? Yep, okay. Well, at least now I know where I'm going. Actually, can I go up here now? Nope, it's still down arrows. Oh, where's the item in the game to get sort of down arrows? Believe me, I would grab that one in a heartbeat. It's a... It's not a very enjoyable gimmick. Oh wow, that's the first bird I've seen on this conveyor belt so far. Now this part right here, it's actually making me think that maybe there is a way to remove those down arrows, because I can't imagine how else you would get in there. It looks like there might be a space there from above, but I don't know. It looked awfully plain, but there's no sense of direction that you would land there with those down arrows right there. That would be a really cheap spot. Not that I put cheap spots above this game, oh no. They've uh, lost my trust on that front long ago. But uh, I try to give them the benefit of the doubt where I can. Which admittedly isn't often, but it is there. Oh no, I don't think I went this way before. It's this one any- no, it's not, it's the same thing, I'm just going over slightly more terrain. Okay. Avoid disaster. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's little holes in the ceiling, so... And those things shoot out things that destroy the, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, now I definitely know I'm on the right track. So those things wouldn't be there if they didn't want me to use it, because this game is evil. Wow. 
or maybe I'm not on the right track, you know, just plumb out of ideas. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. So maybe this is the way I have to go in order to change the conveyor belt. So, hmm. Oh no! Ah! I am just going to skip to the part where I get through that conveyor belt because that one's gonna be a long and tedious one to watch. thought it was. Hold on, there's something here. Yes, I got it. Okay. Please tell me that was a lightning thing down below. Oh, that would make things so much easier. Or, actually, no, not even that. Just either that one, which is not. So what about this one down here? That one's gone. Okay, I can actually go somewhere now. Wow, game. That was very unclear. It's like, you're going against your own rules at this point, but I mean, what are you supposed to do? Yes. Mm. Good thing Tails is invincible like this. Okay, time for the Switch! Hit it! Not to be confused with the Nintendo Switch, which is totally different. Maybe. But we, we don't know. But they won't tell us anything! Let's see, what's up here, I wonder? Oh, I can come all the way back over here as Thales. This, uh... This kind of looks boss arena-ish. Just a little bit. It just kind of sort of looks like a boss arena. Well... Okay. I'm gonna go through this way because it's faster. I should know thing, but I don't think Tails actually can go through the top route. Okay, trigger. Oh, there is no boss fight. Huh. Hmm. Those are some very strange platforms to have, then. They went out of their way to build the- oh. Johnny again! Or whatever your name- whatever, I'm just thinking of Johnny. Oh boy. Thanks, game. That's exactly what this level needed. A freaking boss rush. Nope, 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 not No, no, no. Nice, nice. No, no. Uh uh. Uh, that is. That is definitely a new attack. Uh, good on you, Johnny. You've improved. I've uh, uh, I've learned how to put three bombs in one, and I I, I have more hit points. But that's about it. When I fought him before, I only had the ten. Now I've got ninety-nine. And I partially have him to thank for that. Again. Good. I'm gonna be so mad if I have to go through every single one of these fights again. Got it. No, I thought I saw an explosion coming out of him, but it must have just been the fire. I missed. Hmm. Ah, oh, he was right there! You don't exactly have the best way to fire with the triple bomb. That's probably one of the biggest downfalls it has. Actually, is the uh, other than that weird arc thing it does. I mean, the remote bomb has the same problem. 
makes using these bombs almost impossible. It almost screwed me over there in Poly Mountain. Well, actually, no, it did. I had to go back. But, hmm. Oh, no, I like this platform. It seems to be a safe one. I really need to learn to just start running off the right-hand side. Is that it? Are you done? You're not gonna chase me this time, are you? I don't think you are. Okay. Please don't be a full-on boss for- What did I just say? And who are you? I don't think we ever fought before, did we? What the- what are you doing? I don't know, but you took out three rings, which I'm not happy about. I have not dealt with that mess since uh, Lake Crystal. The, the uh, remote bomb might be good against you. Yeah, because I, I just can't aim against you when you're throwing against me so often. Oh, this one, triple bomb all the way. Well, he's invincible when he ducks. Like, you know, 90% of the enemies in this game. Seemingly. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing this again. He, he, he has an identity crisis and thinks that he's Rayman. Yeah, I see your tricks. Uh, I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting away from him if he's still- Oh, never mind, he's gonna be back, but I'm still dead. I only have one hit, essentially. W one bomb, or one grab, or one whatever stunts he decides to pull. And I'm done. Is that it? You know, the worst part is there's probably gonna be another boss fight. Oh, they're giving me my rings back! Where am I going? Wait, is that it? Did I finish the game? Is that why I didn't recognize that boss? Uh, that was it?! <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the credits! <laughs> yeah? Yeah, they're going over the staff! This is it! Wow, I, uh... No idea that was supposed to be the final boss fight, but I'm not complaining. I'm not really sure why I fought Johnny there at the end, but I did. Johnny and uh, some guy that kind of looks like that uh, old cow character from the old Mickey Mouse cartoons, but just a little bit. It's a, uh, it's weird. Sorry for the long part, I'm sure even with all my edits it's still gonna wind up being a bit of a lengthy one, but... It's all good? We're all good! We're done with Tales Adventure! Next time it's gonna be Sonic Labyrinth, so you get to see me suffer! <laughs> it's an HBO! Without the complaining! <laughs> or without the complaining restriction, that is. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. It's the game they made, where they explicitly and with full intention went against the design of Sonic. They knew exactly what they were doing. He is a platforming mascot that runs fast. That is what everyone knows Sonic as. So they take away his ability to jump, and they slow him down to a crawl. Why would you do that?! <laughs> anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> We'll handle that beast when we get to it. Which will be next time, which means it'll come next week. Yay. I was like, I find Labyrinth is actually supposed to be kind of short, though. But you can beat it in under an hour if you're lucky, so... Maybe if I'm lucky, I can wind up beating the game in a single video. Although... I don't know. I'll figure it out then, because a lot of Sonic Labyrinth is blind to me. I've only really gone through the first couple zones. So... We'll, uh, we'll find out then. At the very least, I'm gonna look up how many levels there are and see if there's any big curveballs like this game has where you have to know exactly what items to go in with and all that. Should I... Should I always nice to speed up button again? It's, uh... 
Oh, I hadn't actually been looking up at the screen of Tails. You have that a giant version of the remote robot that Tails is building. And Tails is all happy and celebrating. Aw, oh, Tails is dancing with the flicky. And, um, d did he and... Oh, no, that's just supposed to be Soot. Oh, I thought that was supposed to mean that he died or something. <laughs> but no, it, it just means he's covered in soot. Yes! You darn right! 100%. Hey, I'm perfectly fine with 100% in games that I'm actually capable of 100% in. Which is going to come back and bite me when I get to the 3D games. I know some of those games can take an eternity. But... Uh, yeah, I'll handle that bridge when I get to it. I'm probably gonna have to... When I get to those, I'm probably gonna have to make individual playlists for them. Which means, in a sense, I'm kind of re-let's playing Sonic Adventure again. But it'll be a lot more detailed this time. But again, that's like five at least games down the list. Hold on. Actually, I'm going to check right now. How many games do I have before Sonic Adventure? I don't know what you guys are seeing on the list right now, but I have the Sonic Labyrinth. I have Sonic the Fighters, 3D Blast, Regular Blast, Sonic R, and then Sonic Adventure. That's what I have listed right now. I, uh, I might change that for the, uh, what's it called? For Sonic Jam as well, because I don't have Jam, and the Saturn emulators aren't very reliable on my end. If I can get one working, I will do a little sub-part for Sonic Jam, and I'll throw that in the Classic Era as well, but... If not, I'm just gonna... What? I don't know, where would I even put Sonic Jam? I think that came out after Sonic R, or it came out around the same time as R. It... Also, I heard some people are trying to make a Sonic Extreme mod, so maybe I might try throwing that in too. It depends, again, that depends on how far along I get with all this, because I'm starting to get to a point now where I have to worry about my uh, video size and how many of them there are for this, because I'm getting close to my 200 limit. For those you don't know, you're only allowed to have 200 videos on a playlist on YouTube before you have to split it in two. Which is why I can't just have all the lob videos in one. And I'm getting up to around 170. And I still have to go through all those games. I mean, Sonic the Fighters is obviously going to be a single video. Sonic Labyrinth might be. There's no way 3D Blast is going to be. So, uh... Yeah, there's fun times ahead for me. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Next time, you will all get to see me suffer through the game I was just ranting about in the middle of the credits.